So you're taking on your own project. You want to carpet your basement, but you got poles in the way and you need to know how to cut around them. Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, bringing you all the strategies to become oh so successful in the carpet and flooring industry. So as you've seen there, we made a nice slice right around the pole there, and we're going to slowly wrap it around. Now, a couple key things. We're working with indoor-outdoor carpet. You need a super sharp blade. Do not be afraid to change that blade out a few times in the process because if you get any snags or stringies, it's not going to seam up nice. But as we work around the pole there, we're just going to cut little slits, little relief cuts all around it here. And I'm going to show you what happens when you mess up too. So we got this all lined up. We're going to rough cut along the wall. You really can't see it in the video here. But let's go ahead and get the camera around. There we go. Now you see that doorway just past that cut I made right there? You're going to see that I actually did not line the carpet up with the metal. So we got it wrapped all the way around. Everything's rough cut in. We're good. Now wait for me to go around the side here any minute now. We got our seam iron ready to rock. I'm saying, oh, hey, I'm totally going to burn this. Oh, no, the carpet edge is an inch short from the metal. So now we got to go ahead and we're going to lift that up. We're going to tap it over a little bit, pick up that inch. We're going to reach down there. Are we making it? All right, yeah, we're making it. Life is good. Now we're going to go this side of the pole and we're going to make a little release cut here just to remove any of that tightness that might be in the way. Everything's good from there. We're going to tap up the other side just to make sure it's even and hopefully not knock over that seam iron and burn a hole in the carpet in the process. Players mess up too, Craig. All right, we're good to go now. Let's go ahead and get some seam tape under here and get this puppy put back together. So everything's lined up. Life is good. We used a super sharp blade, which is the whole key thing of this video. Sharp blade. Don't cut yourself. And when you make that cut, no strings. You want to make sure this is going to go right back together. But there's a few key points to pay attention to on the seam as well. Because like I said, this is indoor outdoor carpet. A lot of stringy mess here. If you're doing this with a plush, not as quite of a process for you. A little bit more uh, forgivable, if you will. So we're going to go ahead and fold that tape under, get it from baseboard to the pole. We're ready to go and get our seam iron here. We're going to go ahead and drop that on the seam tape. We're going to let it cook for a good 10-ish seconds, but you're going to check out my swoop technique when I put this together. This is how you avoid having to use a seam sealer on these little seams. You just go ahead and use the seam from the seam tape to actually seal the seam. Watch this here. So we're going to go ahead and pinch the back there so the iron doesn't pull the tape with it. We're going to move it forward and get ready for this. We're going to go ahead and drop the one side down and then we're going to create a small swoop effect so it just picks up the slightest bit of glue and puts it on the edge of the carpet. Now this is a technique for sure because if you overdo it, glue oozes through and you have a rock solid seam. So just a little bit of finesse there to make things happen. We're going to move that forward make sure everything behind it is put together. Another thing to think about, if you see any fuzzies popping through, just take the edge of your blade and tuck them down into that seam there. Don't try and pull them or anything. You want them to go ahead and seal into the seam so everything cures properly and you're good to go. You seen that swoop technique get there? I know you've seen that. Life is good. We're going to blend it in with our fingers because it's a phenomenal tool. Just to use your fingers and then any of the little loops. We're just going to tuck those into the glue there and biggity bam, you are a professional carpet installer.